Hello kids, and I know some of you might be young adults. I'm Alan Brenzel. I'm a pediatrician and child psychiatrist, and I've been working with ch children, young adults, and their families for over 30 years. And I often talk to kids about the worries, their worries. And I want you to know that I understand how you might be feeling right now. All of us have gotten concerned about something that can make us sick. It's called COVID-19. It's caused a lot of things to change in your world. If you're in preschool, you're probably missing your teachers and your friends and the fun activities you used to do, such as building with blocks or painting or playing on the playground. Maybe your school had circle time. I'll bet you really miss that. Some of you might have been used to staying with other relatives or caretakers during the day, and now you're not getting to do that. You might be really missing them too. You might be wondering why you have to stay home every day. I want to talk to you about that later, but first I want you to know that it's normal to feel a little out of sorts right now. A lot of kids are feeling the same way. Things are going to be different for a while. One hard thing is that right now we just don't know how long things are going to be different. If you're in elementary or middle school, you might feel sad and be missing your friends, your teachers, and the routine of the school day. You might even feel a little mad. You might get restless as you try to figure out a new routine at home. We're going to talk about routines. You might be missing the chance to play soccer or lacrosse or basketball or other group activities that you like. You might be feeling worried about the adults in your life. Have you noticed that some of them seem a little stressed right now? Even some are having to work from home or, or not able to work right now. Other students are feeling the same way you are feeling, and it's okay to feel sad or worried or even a little mad. If you're in high school, this is really creating a mess for you. You might feel very isolated, cut off from people you enjoy seeing each day. Some kids are telling me the one thing they're really mad about is that sleepovers are being canceled. The bad news is, is that is what we're recommending, so that's our fault, but that's what we need to be doing. We know that your friends are a really important part of your life, and even though you can text and talk from home and interact in other ways, it doesn't seem the same, does it? And some of you were probably playing sports or on teams and had your whole seasons canceled. That's really not fair, is it? Especially after all that practice. If maybe you were working on a spring play or a musical and now you're not gonna get to do that. Wow, that's really hard news to hear since you work so hard. If you're a senior, wow, you probably have some really big worries. Am I going to pass my classes? Am I going to get to graduate? Am I going to get to go to prom? Or am I even going to have a graduation? Those are really important and big worries for you right now. The problem is the answers aren't clear, and I know how frustrating that is. Each of you has many, many reasons to feel sad or worried. I just want you to know these feelings are normal. I get it. I do know that you're hearing a lot about coronavirus. It's also called COVID-19. And some of the information you hear from others or read online might sound really scary. But some of it doesn't apply to us here in the U.S. or us in Kentucky or maybe even in your town. So be careful where you get your information. If you hear something that scares you, please talk to somebody about it. I also want you to know some important facts. The coronavirus is a germ, and when kids get the virus, most of the time it's no big deal. You might not really even feel sick. But adults, especially older people, or people with other illnesses, can get really sick. Corona does travel from person to person, and people can catch it if they touch or come in contact with each other too closely. It can spread to many people very fast. That's why a lot of the things are happening right now. To slow down the virus and, keeping, and keep too many people from getting sick, our schools are closed, people are working at home, people are staying at home as much as possible. Our governor is having to make a lot of really hard decisions on what to close, but he is trying to keep us safe and it's important. Even if you're not sick, you can slow the virus down by washing your hands frequently, sneezing into a tissue, 
and throwing it away right away, or coughing into your elbow. You can also help by staying away from big groups of people. It's amazing to me to see everybody working together to slow down the virus. This is really important because it gives scientists and doctors more time to figure out and to take care of those people who are sick. What you are doing is truly helping other people. Another fact I want you to understand is that we don't have very many people in Kentucky who are sick right now, and that's a good thing, and we want to keep it that way. And you can help, and you are helping. One way you can do that, and I'm going to talk a little bit about this, how is that you can try to stay healthy and take care of both your brain and your body. You might be wondering what you can do to stay healthy, so I have a couple suggestions for you. One is create a new routine that works for you. Rout routines are really important, and sometimes breaking routines is really fun. That's what we do on vacation. We break our routines. Or I remember snow days could be really fun. But in the long run, we all need routines to feel safe and secure and to, and to not feel anxious. And it helps us feel calm. So I want you to come up with a routine. It's going to be kind of like school, where you have certain times for certain activities and certain classes during the day. I know you might be getting to sleep in a little later than usual, and that's probably okay. But the worst thing you can do is stay in bed all day. And actually, you know what I'm going to ask you to do is not stay in your pajamas all day. Sometimes we, get it, we stay in our pajamas when we're sick. And that might tell our brains that we're sick, and we might actually start feeling sick. So get up, get dressed, and implement a routine and a schedule. And whatever you do, don't put too much internet surfing in your schedule. As, remember what I said about bad information? And too much information will make us feel more anxious. A reasonable routine with times for breaks, for fun, and family is really important for all of us. I'd also really like you to get some fresh air. Going outside for even a short time makes people feel better, especially on sunny days. And hey, it's spring now. Take a quick walk around your block once or twice a day. That reminds me of something the governor told us the other day, that he was taking so many walks to help him with his stress that his dogs were absolutely worn out and exhausted. And he said he had to carry one of his dogs back to the house and up the stairs. Hey, you know what? That gives me an idea. If you take a lot of walks and your dog or pet gets really tired, Post a picture of your tired dog, your tired dog from too many walks. If you, don't, if you can't take a picture, draw a picture of one. Let's see who can send in a picture of the most tired dog in Kentucky. If you don't have a dog, just send in a picture of something you saw during your walk. Post it to hashtag Team Kentucky. Hey, maybe later we can get the governor to tell us the names of his dogs, and you could send them directly to one of his dogs. I also want you to find other ways to exercise. In addition to walking around the block, you can find ways to exercise in your house. There's lots of free exercise plans and routines online, or maybe someone would have to print it and bring it to you. Or just do jumping jacks and push-ups at home. That can be great. Keeping your body strong will help you to stay healthy. I'm also encouraging you to, to, to help someone else. Are the grown-ups in your house seeming a little stressed? One thing that might be nice is do something for them. Maybe do a chore without having to be asked. Maybe just some kind words. And hey, if you have siblings, maybe you could teach them something. Because your parents, if they're trying to work from home, might really appreciate the help with your siblings. When you help others, you really will feel much better yourself. Another bit of advice Talk about your feelings. It's normal to have some feelings of worry, but those worries might become overwhelming, and we want you to feel comfortable and find a trusted adult that you could talk to. They can help you. I also want you to know that there are people whose job it is to talk to people with worries. Hey, I told you that was one of my jobs. And maybe talking to someone will be important and helpful. If you need that kind of help, please ask about it.
We all need to think about how, what kind of strategies we use to help keep ourselves calm. Everyone might have different ways. Some people, I know, take deep breaths and then slowly breathe out when they have a worry thought, and that can really help. But you, for you, it might be read a book, listen to music. Hey, remember what I said about taking a walk? I think the governor said taking a walk really helps him with his stress. So I want you to find some strategies that help. And finally, I just want you to know that it's normal to feel upset and that many other people are feeling the same way. We're all going to adjust together. These changes are hard. The important thing is, is that we work together and keep people safe by slowing the spread of this virus. You are part of Team Kentucky, and we are going to get through this together. Remember, let's send some pictures of tired pets or things you're doing on your walks and post them to hashtag Team Kentucky. Take care.